Hello, hello, and welcome back to Crimes Against Plastic. Uh, I was going to make this third video wrapping up my Gundam build, but we've just gotten something that I'm very excited to share with you guys. Uh, so about three years ago, I was visiting the UK and I picked up a set of enamel paints from a company called AK Interactive. Uh, at the time, I just started my Death Guard army, so I, um, I put them to use for some really good dirty and weathered effects. So I'll show you some pictures from my collection uh, here. Uh, so they, at the time, they were a bit hard to get a hold of here in Canada. and. Uh, at, now we finally found a good, reliable local supplier. Uh, so for those of you who aren't familiar with enamel paints, they're an oil-based product that have some very neat characteristics. I'm going to do a quick tutorial to show you what I mean. So the first paint I have here is Streaking Grime, and this is one of my favorites. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that it flows over surfaces much more evenly than acrylic paints. So if you spread it into a crack, it flows very nicely. You can do spot shading like uh, here in these armor joints. Uh, so if you want to show that there's a lot of wear and tear and there's a mud flowing in there, this is great for doing that. You can also thin it down and apply it over the entire model. And if you do that, it'll get a very cohesive and realistic look. It'll really tie um, all the different parts of the model together. So speaking of thinning down paints, you can't use water for these. You're gonna need a mineral spirit or turpentine mix, and AK has a pre-mix bottle that we've got stocked on our online store. Uh, I typically mix one part paint to two parts thinner if I'm doing spot shading, and if I'm doing uh, large areas, I'll do one part paint to four parts thinner. Enamel paints tend to dry pretty quickly, so five to 10 minutes is good, and uh, you're gonna get a bit of a glossy texture when you're done. So it, it'll almost look like it's not dry, but if you uh, touch it gently, you'll see that it is. Uh, and don't worry, you can always hit it with a matte varnish or a satin varnish if you wanna cut down on the reflectiveness. Okay, so here's the real cool thing about enamels. You can reactivate the paint after it's dry. So we're gonna take a Q-tip, uh, dip it in some of the mineral spirits that we used, and just gently dab away at the raised areas. And as you can see, it's, it's removing the paint and that gives you a, a smooth, brightened area that adds more dimensionality to your model. Next, we're gonna try out the Rust Streaks paint. This one will thin down one part paint to three parts thinner, and using a small brush, we're just gonna dab it into the recesses and uh, make some streaking lines downwards. Finally, we're gonna add some rust deposits onto the model. So again, using a small brush, we're going to put uh, a little bit just along the edges to make it look like that the rusty water has pooled in those areas. And there we go. The weathering is all done in just under 15 minutes. At this point, make sure you hit it with a varnish so that the paint doesn't peel off when you're, um, when you're uh, working with the model further. All in all, from bare plastic to tabletop ready, it took just over 45 minutes. So as you can see, this is a pretty quick and dirty way to get your models ready for the tabletop. Uh, this is also gonna be really good when we get into doing some monsters and vehicles. So we've got these paints and more available now in our web store. You can use the coupon code AK-Paint at checkoff to get 20% off. Uh, I'll be using a lot of more of these paints in future videos. I've also picked up some other other tools like, um, like pens and brushes and stuff like that. So I, I'm looking forward to showing you guys those. Uh, and now that we've got a local supplier, we can order these in for you guys anytime. I'd like to thank our sponsors on Patreon. Callum O'Malley, Dave Vino, Artemidge84, Eve Kusk, Dan Murray, and Mike Story for making this content possible. If you've enjoyed our video so far, uh, consider heading over there and supporting the channel as well. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next episode of Crimes Against Plastic.